Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's been a while since I filmed. I've been incredibly busy the last couple of weeks and just haven't found the time to film videos, but I want to get back into it. Things have kind of calmed down in my life, so I figured I could hop on here and film one of my favorite videos that uh, that I that I like to film, and that is my monthly flip through of my Happy Planner, my Mega Franken Planner, Happy Planner uh, Colossus. I have I think nine different planners. Franken planned combined into this one planner. She is chunky. She is thick. She is busting at the seams here. And I just like uh, filming flip throughs and just like kind of just seeing my month in review. So if you're interested in seeing a flip through of my Franken planner for the month of March and if you're interested in hearing me chat a little bit about how my planner style and process is going, just keep on watching. All right, everyone, I am so guilty of just chattering away and just rambling on and on. So I'm really trying to be as concise as possible nowadays because first of all, who has time to watch so many uh, long planner videos? And I just, I'm just trying to be, trying to be different, trying to be, try something new and try to challenge myself. So I am going to be as concise and as short as possible um, yeah, let me know. Let me know how that how that works. So planner page. I actually took a break from my super intense um, cover pages, and I just went ahead and used some nice uh, kind of three D metallic silver stickers to spell out my name. I'm still here with my um, pressed florals horizontal cover page, or title, or. I don't know, cover? Cover? Yeah. I'm still here with my pressed florals cover. Love this cover so much. Perfect for March. Still with my metallic lavender expander discs. And yeah, let's get into this. Um, I haven't really changed too much in the beginning here. I still have my Gudetama poster, my table of contents with all my happy planners listed out, my um, year at a glance. I use the uh, Mickey Mi Mickey and Minnie Oasis planner like yearly pages for my year at a glance because I love seeing Mickey and Minnie throughout it. I love the green accents. My my uh, my year is definitely getting filled up as you can see. I'm definitely starting to fill up through June, but July through December is still pretty empty for me. So we'll see what goes on uh, later on in the year. I still have my New Year's resolutions here in the front. I decorated this section here. Um, I was debating what I wanted to do with this blank page and I just ended up decorating it with this super cute wrong wrong sticker and with the little pug because I do have a pug. So I felt like this was very me. Um, this is the last page of my New Year's resolutions. I have a bucket list here, which I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Kind of empty for now. My sticky note dashboard where I have all of my happy planner and Daiso sticky notes, both on the front and the back. Love how I set this up. Really happy with that. And then I just have a morning routine I set up and then we get into my daily agenda pages. This is a, a whiteboard dashboard from one of the Miss Maker like accessory packs. I have been playing around with this and I do like using it, but I feel like I feel like the, the whiteboards come in handy when you're not feeling like stickering at all, but you still kind of want to write down things. Um, this whiteboard is it's a pretty cool idea, I have to admit. And I picked up some really ultra fine tip um, whiteboard markers specifically for this uh, dashboard because anything other than an ultra fine tip is way too thick, I think, to write on such a small um, piece of 
paper, I guess. Well, I guess this isn't paper, but I have a, a, a pretty big whiteboard um, that I like to use sometimes, and I have it here in my office, and I have the thick, uh, the thick whiteboard markers for that, and I tried using it on this dashboard, and it was absolutely not, uh, not it. It was just way too thick of writing. And here, I this section is like my daily agenda section. I have daily pages. These are Mickey Mouse floral uh, wellness pages that I've kind of converted and adapted to be daily agenda pages. So I have a couple of those that I've um, set up throughout the month. And I had a lot of fun setting up these uh, pages. I love these wellness pages for daily agenda sheets. They're meant for wellness journaling, but I just went ahead and kind of um, changed them to be daily agenda productivity type of uh, pages. And so these are just blank pages. This is what um, these pages look like before I, I sticker them up. And I also just have some uh, other filler paper, different types of layouts and formats, uh, mostly for daily agenda planning. And then we get into my first planner and I separate all of my planners from each other with these awesome Gudetama posters. And I use paper clips to clip, um, to clip the last page, the, the, the March overview or the monthly overview to the dividers so that way I don't have to see this um, random like last week in February page. Uh, that's a tip for us Franken planners out there. If you just want that seamless transition into the March overview, then just paper clip or, you know, use adhesive. The March overview, I've been kind of, I don't use them as much as I would like but you know it is what it is and i'm actually going to try to show you every single planner that i am using currently just so you get an idea of you know the planners that i'm using so this is my first planner in my lineup it's my graduate school planner um, where i conduct all of my scientific research and the planner that I'm using for this section is this Mickey Mouse Oasis vertical planner. And this is one of um, a recent acquisition of mine. Very cute. I got it at clearance at Joann's because, you know, we are well into the year at this point. And so we had a bunch of planners on clearance. And this was the first month using this planner and I was using an undated Mickey Mouse planner vertical as well before, but I saw this one on clearance. I love the Oasis line, so I picked it up and I figured, you know, I could save the undated one that I had been using previously for some other time and use a dated one uh, right now. So that way it just saves me that extra bit of time. So this is the monthly view, very functional. I like to use a uh, particular style of sticker in each one of my planners and because this is the Disney Oasis uh, planner I use almost exclusively Disney Oasis stickers so I just have a bunch of my like graduate school um, you know deadlines and important dates there on that monthly the first week in March the second week in March this is probably the planner that I use the most because it is like my first like priority in life and as I said, I like to use a specific style of sticker for each one of my planners. You know, I kind of treat each planner as its own planet with its own habitat and atmosphere and environment. And I like using Oasis um, stickers from the Disney line in this particular planner. And then this is going to... So the last two weeks in March have been wild. Absolutely wild for me. I have been so incredibly busy that I haven't even had time to like meal prep or anything and so my planners are really really blank for all of my planners um, these last two weeks in March. So you can see here this one this week. It's currently Thursday evening and yeah I'm just it's pretty empty and you know, that's how it goes sometimes. That's how life is. Sometimes things get busy. You don't have time to be in a planner. And so I was barely in my planners the last two weeks in March. So that was my first planner. Uh, a new addition that I added into my planner were these sticker storage um, things from the Happy Planner. They're really nice. 
you can just pop in a couple of sheets of stickers and pop them into your planner and then you just have a nice collection of um, stickers for you know to, to that you can carry on the go and because I like to plan with a particular type of sticker theme for each one of my planners um, I have one of these inserted at the end of each planner section and these are all stickers from the Disney Oasis line so they go with this planner I have a folder here also Disney Oasis with some productivity sheets some bee stickers back here because i work with honeybees i also have um this disney oasis uh i forget what this is called like a desk pad weekly calendar um this kind of sits on my desk and i like take it with me if i leave but it has like a broad overview of what's going on during the week so that i can reference so we have that. I also have this little guy here. I'm starting a little zine. Uh, just this is the very first like rough draft of that zine, but I want to do a little like science zine um, and like draw cartoons with that. So I have that tucked in there. And so that is my first planner. And then we move on to my second planner, which is let's see, where is that planner? It's this one right here. This. This is the second planner that I have in my solar system here. It's the seasonal doodle planner. And so for March, we had this beautiful divider with the lucky charms and the four leaf clovers. And this is my higher education planner. It's a color block. Um, I am an adjunct faculty at a university as well as a communications recruiter. And so I have all of that like higher education administration stuff um, tucked into the section here. And the style of planning that I like to do here is, or the style of stickers that I like to use is this pastel rainbow um, kind of whimsical style of stickering. And so first two weeks are kind of busy. I have a couple of things here in this third week and fourth week. And then this week I've just been like, there's stuff there, but I am, I am like barely doing anything besides writing down the bare minimum of like what needs to happen. So that is that. And then the sticker um, storage behind that. These are all um, stickers from the, I think it's called the Mega Pastel uh, sticker book. Um, let me see if I can actually, oh yeah, it's right here. It's called the Mega Pastel Sticker Book. So I use almost exclusively stickers from that sticker book in this section. And then we move on to my third um, planner. And I just have this random bookmark here because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this overview page. But for this particular planner, I'm using the Colorful Dogs Planner. So that's this one right here. This was also a new switch up that I started um, this month. I was using a dashboard prior to this, decided that that wasn't really working for me for this section. This is my science communication section. It's all of my like public outreach work that I like to do. And I had used a vertical for the section last year. I really liked it. Tried to switch to a dashboard, did not like it. Went right back to a vertical. And so this is the monthly. And because it's the colorful dogs vertical, I decided to use a, um, I, I decided to use colorful dog sticker book to, um, to decorate this planner. And this planner has been kind of neglected, honestly. I do kind of use it um, to brainstorm and like jot down ideas and stuff, but it's been, I've been definitely kind of putting a pause on a lot of this work here as the, as the month got very busy. As you can see, I have a lot of like blank space and um, just things that didn't happen for me. And this week has been also very, very sparse, but you know, that happens sometimes. So that is my third planner. I did manage to draw this uh, honeybee mosaic and I used happy planner stickers to decorate around it. I gave a talk at um, the Natural History Museum here in San Diego about my research with honeybee genetics, um, kind of part of my, you know, public outreach and uh, public education work. So I drew this design um, to share during that talk. So that was that. And I have my colorful dog stickers tucked away here. 
And then we move on to my fourth planner. This is my current events planner. I use a color block, um, no, a lined vertical colorful leopard planner for the section. Love this planner so much. Very, very cute. And for this planner, this is where it's kind of a journal for me. I like to journal about, um, you know, things that I read, articles I read, things I learn about what's going on in the world. For the monthly, I try to listen to like one news item or read one news item a day and write down, you know, the most, I guess, compelling thing that I heard in the news um, that day. And I try to do that uh, in March and I did get some stuff down, but these last two weeks for me were just so busy. I wasn't I wasn't really doing too much in here. And then um, during the week, I like to read articles, and then I'll jot down like a couple of notes that I found most the most important for me. Um, reading articles or listening to the news and i like using the, this kind of like boss babe like sticker style i use colorful leopard wild styled and um i forget what that recollection sticker book is called but it's the one with all of the like the animal print and the boss babes but yeah this <laughs> this week absolutely nothing happened this week this is this week currently and we have nothing going on because these these two weeks the 21st and the 28th absolutely like wild for me but it's okay you know it happens and i did get to read a couple of cool articles throughout the month and honestly um you know planning is what you make of it and what and i you know I count this as a win, even though I don't, you know, fill in every single square inch in the planner. As long as it, you know, fulfills the purpose that you meant it to fulfill. Like I got this planner to motivate me to read more news articles, to listen to the radio more. As long as it fulfills that purpose, you're good. So that is that planner. I have these wild styled and colorful leopard stickers tucked in the back here. I just have like four sticker sheets in each one of these guys. Then we move on to my fifth planner. This is my spirituality planner. And this was also kind of a new addition for me. And the planner that I'm using, let's see if I can find it. Here it is. This is this faith planner um, that says God is a promise keeper on the front. And this was my first month using the faith, uh, the faith planner really liked how i set up my monthly uh my monthly calendar here i like to keep track of very various like interfaith religions astrological cycles aztec calendar cycles i'm very multi-faith so that information all is kind of is just brain dumped into the monthly calendar and then in the weeklies i like to journal about the different holidays that are passing so on the 28th of Monday, I learned about this uh, Mahashiravatri, which is a Hindu religion. It's the great night of Shiva. It is a solemn event notable for introspection. So I like kind of like writing about different religious holidays and traditions in this planner. I like to write down Bible quotes that I'm, you know, reading. Right now I'm, I'm reading through um, Psalms. So I've been writing a lot of Psalms. And I also like to write down prayers here as well as any oracle or tarot cards that I pull. It's very spiritual practice for me. I'll write down, I'll write that down here. And any like astrological events, I'll write down um, as well. And then, yeah, this week I kind of just like left off of faith planning. And then this is the current week. There's absolutely nothing going on, but I am looking forward to starting anew in April, you know, like March, these last two weeks in March were just absolutely crazy for me. So, you know, it happens. I'm just really excited to get back into my planners. And then we just have my faith stickers um, here in the little sheet protector. And I use like a variety of stickers in this planner. Um, I use Bible like faith stickers from the Happy Planner. I also use kind of like Zodiac style stickers and like witchy type stickers because that's all like part of my spirituality. And yeah, so after that we have my spiritual appendices 
So these are just kind of like bullet journal type of pages that I like to keep with my faith, uh, my faith stuff. So we have my Aztec calendar and also I have some new moon and full moon journaling pages which I've been really behind on lately. So I definitely need to get back into my uh, new moon, full moon journaling. I have, I try to write down like our journal about each um, full moon and new moon as they happen. But yeah, this, these last couple of months have been pretty busy. And then we move into my sixth planner, I believe. This is my fitness planner and I'm using my yoga planner right now. That's this guy right here. Very, very cute. Love the divider and oh, I feel so sad because I really wanted to, you know, use this planner um, or get back into my fitness this month. And then just like March, the last two weeks of March hit and I was just absolutely like gone. I was okay the first week, second week not okay, I was very much really just way too busy with work. Third week I really tried getting back into fitness. I don't know if anyone caught this um, plan with me, I had a lot of fun putting it together. I was really good Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And then on Wednesday I had a knee injury, I was running this um, three mile run that I had told myself I was going to do. And then halfway through the run I, I, at about two miles, actually, um, I just had my knee started hurting and I was shocked because I don't really have those knee injuries. Um, I don't know for you runners out there. Um, when you have knee injuries that like that tendon, I think it's called, I, there's a, there's a specific name for it. I always forget what it's called, but if you're a run or long distance runner, sometimes you'll get that pain on the side of your of your knee. It's that tendon that runs like on the outside of your knee. And for me, I've, I don't really have pain in that area unless I don't stretch. And I had been stretching pretty well, so I'm really shocked that I uh, that I got that my knee started hurting like at barely two miles. You know, I've run ten miles and my knee hasn't hurt like that. So I'm not sure if it's because I just haven't really been running long distance too much lately or I just didn't stretch enough but I got this knee injury on Wednesday and it just like took me out until like Saturday and then by the time Saturday rolled around I just was again super busy with stuff so 21st to the 27th absolutely nothing happened 28 to the 3rd again we uh, nothing happened here and it happens and honestly like I have been like active. I have been, I took a hike on like on Sunday. I hiked, um, or it's Sunday, the 27th. I hiked. I definitely walked a couple of times throughout the week. I just haven't been writing it down, which, you know, happens. It happens. Better to do it and not write it down than to write it down and not do it. So there's that. And I have my fitness stickers here in the little, um, what is this called? Sh uh, sticker storage protector thing. I have those there. And then we have my next uh, planner, which is my wellness planner. And I use the Your Soul is Golden wellness planner from the Happy Planner, of course. And this planner also, like I tried to really be in it this month, but of course, like every other planner, I just, the last two weeks in March just absolutely killed me. I did keep on, uh, keep on, I did keep track or keep on top of my mood tracker and oh my goodness. So this kind of explains like the rest of my planner situation. So I have my legend here and generally pink colors are like pretty happy, like I'm feeling pretty good. Anything else is kind of uh, negative in some way. So red, I'm irritable. Gray, I'm tired. Blue, I'm sad. And green, I'm anxious. And as you can see that it was definitely not the best month for me in terms of mood and emotion. The month of February, like everything is pink. Like it's 99% pink. I was feeling great like the entire month of February. 
And then this month, I think I've just been so slammed at work with duties and obligations and responsibilities that I've just definitely been feeling it. I've been uh, finally feeling the lack of sleep for like the last two months, definitely feeling a little bit burnt out. And so I've been struggling to keep my energy up, my mood up. I have a lot of days that I'm feeling tired most of the day or anxious and I feel like being tired and anxious for me goes hand in hand but thankfully you know about half of the time I am feeling okay so yeah definitely been a very mixed month for me in terms of mood I'm hoping in April um, I start feeling a little bit better I think so I just think that March was just super super busy for me so this was the first week in March I went with this like light orange pastel theme for this section i like using wellness uh, wellness stickers digital detox stickers anything to do with self-care so i did try to get into here um you know the first three weeks in march and then i just kind of started falling off at this point and then last week absolutely nothing happened and then this is this week i tried doing some things i put down some stickers i got a new um sticker book this is like the elegant princess sticker book and i'll probably try to journal a little bit um over the weekend here but not sure what's going on i don't know if i will though <laughs> i might just kind of call march a wash and then just move on from it and i just have some wellness stickers i think this is a wellness warrior sticker book i just have those back there and then um this is kind of these uh, pages are kind of my like wellness appendices as well i have my bedtime routine and then i have just like uh just like a energy legend back here still trying to figure out what i want to do in this section i have my sleep logs I, I totally fell off from tracking my sleep for a while there things got chaotic but i'm hoping to get back into that in april and i have some wellness pages from a disney wellness journaling uh notebook before we move on to my next planner this is my household planner I like calling it my farmhouse planner. This is that the planner that these pages came from. This is also a new addition this this month. I was using the Disney color block dashboard and then I switched out this one or I switched that one out and I put in this one because this one is much more neutral than that Disney one. And um I had been using this dashboard for my science communication work and like I said I just wasn't feeling the dashboard anymore so I wanted to move that one out and I had always been kind of like you know wanting to move out that color block uh Disney for my household because I wanted to like really embrace this like farmhouse aesthetic in my household planner and the Disney like theme wasn't really fitting well with it so I, I was happy to switch it out and this one is so neutral that it really works and so this is the monthly uh, I did try to play around with the monthly a little bit but um, I did get some things down here uh, but not too much going on this is the first two weeks in uh, March third week in March and then <laughs> the fourth and fifth week in March hit and I was absolutely not in my planners it happens and i just have a folder here with some uh, health document information i have some farmhouse stickers tucked here in the back and then we move into my ninth planner which is my meal planner and this is probably the most neglected planner this is probably my most neglected planner right now so i'm using this meal planner planner i oh, love this thing so much it has inspired me so much this year to meal prep and I have definitely been feeling like I am getting better at cooking. I'm losing weight because I'm not, you know, uh, eating unhealthily and yeah, love this planner. But this month, unfortunately, I just I was in it for the first like two and a half weeks. As you can see, I was kind of in it and then I just kind of dropped off. So we just have some recipe and ingredients and grocery lists, uh, pages in the front. This is the first week in March. 
Um, I like to drink a lot of green smoothies, and so whenever I drink one as like a meal replacement kind of thing, I always kind of like doodle a little smoothie there. And I love food stickers, so I try to like uh, pop those down whenever I, you know, if I have a hamburger, I'll put down a hamburger sticker. And um, meal prepping, I'll put down sticky notes to remind me that I'm meal prepping. I'm trying to also limit my caffeine intake, so I've been kind of tracking my caffeine with um, this little caffeine stamp. And I just recently found this washi tape. I've had this washi tape for a while, and I recently rediscovered it, and I was so happy I found it because it fits perfectly with this planner. Also, I've been trying to do this new thing where I am counting my calories. I mean, I've always counted my calories, well, I've counted my calories for like the past year and a half, I would say. And I kind of got away from it once I moved my nutrition out of my fitness planner and into my meal planner. But I kind of want to get back into counting calories um, because it is so easy to overeat and overindulge. And so I've been trying to set that up here. But as you can see, I've been a little bit... I haven't been super uh, good about keeping up with that because right around the time I decided to start counting my calories again, things got really busy. I wasn't even meal prepping. I had family and friends in town, so we were eating out a lot, and it's so hard to like keep track of what you're eating when you're eating out. And that's it. <laughs> the last two weeks are absolutely blank. It's crazy. And just here in the back, we have some uh, meal plan. Uh, stationary sheets that I like to use to like uh, prepare for grocery shopping and I have some meal prep stickers here in the back and the last thing that I have here in my happy planner is just some food stickers I love food stickers there's so much they're one of my like favorite things to collect or buy so I just have a bunch of meal um, stickers here and that's it that's the flip through of March um, yeah, I had so much fun, like, setting up my March planner. I was really looking forward to, you know, just having a lot of fun this month. But sometimes life just comes and smacks you upside the head and you get lost in the whirlwind of, like, getting your life together. And that just happened to me this month. Totally okay. It's totally fine to, you know, leave weeks at a time blank in your planners because at the end of the day, it's not about having like a full, complete, perfect planner. It's about using it um, as a tool to get you the results that you need or that you want. And I feel like sometimes we get, we planners kind of get lost in that. We like kind of lose the forest for the trees and we get caught up in making sure our planner looks right. But at the end of the day, it really is what your planner allows you to do that you should really be focusing on and celebrating on or celebrating and everything else is just kind of the icing on the cake. So I love having such a complex planner system, but the moment that, you know, I there's there's a moment uh, or there, there is a moment for me that I, you know, really have to prioritize what I need to get done and sometimes I just don't have the time to be in my planner, unfortunately. But, you know, it's nice because it's always kind of there waiting for me when I'm ready to go back into it and when I have the time to go back into it and I feel like extra motivated and refreshed. And also, it really motivates me to make the time. And, you know, because if I am like planning in my planner and like decorating all my spreads and like really maintaining my planner it means that I got all of my responsibilities and obligations done it means that I have you know managed to find the time in my busy life to do something I really love and so a lot of the times I'll really strive to you know focus and make sure I'm getting my my responsibilities accomplished and achieved so that I can go and spend time with my planner. So it is it is like a prize that kind of waits for me. And when I'm able to, I'm able to get into it and have a lot of fun. So that is my entire planner flip through. I hope you enjoyed just spending some time with me. Thank you so much to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate all of the support 
and uh yeah just let me know how how you've been doing with your planner um this past month let me know if you've been kind of neglecting it or if you've really been finding the time to be in it i would love to know uh drop me a comment down below let's chat let's be friends um don't be shy and i will catch you in my next video bye